What's up everybody, MCZX here. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Cause if you're not, cheer up. It could always be worse. Trust me, it can always be worse. But this is NXT recap. We're gonna go over everything we just saw from NXT. That was two hours ago. So let's do it, shall we? First things first, we had Peyton Royce uh, versus Nikki Cross versus, what's that woman's name? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, what's that woman's name? Oh, Liv Morgan, yes, yes. You don't see her for a while, you forget the name. Anyway, this is a match to determine a qualifying spot for the NXT Women's Championship match at TakeOver Houston. Whoever gets the win in this match gets to be put in that match. So, so far you already have Kyrie Zane, which is obvious because she won the Mae Young Classic and instead of giving her, you know, the NXT Championship because Oscar was leaving, it gave her a spot in this qualifying match. It's a fatal four-way, by the way, so we got two more of these to go in the coming weeks. Now, the match itself is pretty dang good. I enjoyed that match. Very fun match. Peyton Royce is amazing. Nikki Cross is amazing. Liv Morgan's amazing. I'm a fan of all three. Now, I did not expect this show to go. I didn't expect the ending to be that, but I'm okay with it. So, Peyton Royce. I think Nikki Cross was about to get Peyton Royce into something. And out comes the Undisputed Era with Tynara Conti. Now, if anyone knows, was Tanara Conti in Woman of Honor or something? Because I don't understand why they picked her. They could have picked Vanessa Bourne or, or someone else. But Tanara Conti showing in the Mae Young Classic wasn't that impressive to me anyway. And I just thought that, that they could have picked a better choice. But I guess she works. Facial expressions showed everything she needed to show. So Tanara Conti interferes twice. And it caused Nikki Cross to get kicked by uh, Peyton Royce, little uh, split leg kick, this was a cross kick, and then the Venus fly trap with that Northern like suplex, one, two, three, Peyton Royce is advanced to be a part of the NXT Women's Championship match at TakeOver Houston. So that, that's gonna be interesting, interesting. Billy Kay had nothing to do with this this time, so <laughs> that's great. Next up is Leo Rush versus Velveteen Dream. Now, listen, I love both of them, they're great. They're great. Here's my problem. Leo Rush didn't get to show a lot of offense. He was very quick, which is good. Uh, he didn't do. A, he didn't get to do a lot though. He just, you know, he, he evaded Velveteen. Did a, like a couple moves, and that was it. And once Velveteen got his hands on him, it was over. His hands, his hands on him, <laughs> and it was over. Um, Velveteen wins with the purple rainmaker. He didn't just call it something else. I don't. I don't know why he calls it that. Like, it's not gonna stick for me because there's only one Rainmaker, and his name is Kazuchika Okada. Now, Dream wins, and then he mocks out the black. He does a little pose, a little cross-legged pose, sitting down, and he keeps mouthing. Next up, it's NXT resident Braun Strowman, aka Lars Sullivan, versus Danny Burke. Huh. Not much to say besides Lars Sullivan dominated, and I, I and that's about that regarding the match. I did laugh at the fan that said, "You are garbage." <laughs> You're a funny man, very funny man. Uh, Sullivan wins. He didn't do a post-match beatdown. He just won and posed, and that was that. I'm assuming it's going to be Birch and Lorkin versus Sullivan at NXT Takeover Houston, or maybe. Maybe someone else will step up. Maybe uh, Cassius Ono, I guess. Street Profits up next. Most lit team in NXT. Taking on Danny Brony and Mars Jamoke. Because uh, the names don't matter. <laughs> I'm sure they're pretty cool on like the indie scene, but NXT doesn't matter. Uh, Street Profits won, which was obvious. Super obvious. They are extremely hyped. Super lit. If you don't like that stuff, uh don't like Street Profits then. Uh, I think Street Profits are great. They're not crime time, which is wonderful. I always have an iffy feeling when I see two black wrestlers as a tag team. I'm like, oh, they're going to be portrayed as gangsters or or, or I, I steal things or I'm African when I'm really not African. Like, I'm from Uganda. No. It's never like just two black athletes who are like wrestlers. Like, Jay Lethal is a perfect example of what you can do. You just let a guy be himself, but Nah, I, I don't know why WWE just 
does black people wrong with those, but maybe that's just me, maybe that's just me. Hopefully Street Profits doesn't turn into a stereotypical gimmick. I like where it's at right now. Let's keep it that way. Now for the main event, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano versus Andrade Cien Almas. Tranquilo. Almas won again after an incredible match. Uh, he won due to another interference by Selena Vega. She was wearing a DIY shirt underneath her leather uh, jacket. And Johnny was like, oh, that doesn't bother me anymore, blah, blah, blah. But it did take him off his game a little bit. And it allowed Cien almost to get advantage. Hit him with the knees twice, the back of the head. And then Hamlock DDT planted Johnny straight on his noggin. One, two, three. Cien almost is... 2-0 versus Johnny Gargano, and that was NXT. Listen, uh, I really enjoyed the show. I I gave it a B plus. I think it was a solid show. It, it did what it was supposed to do in an hour. It didn't give me too much uh, fluff and crap on backstage drama. It was just, here's some matches, here's some things that are going on. This is it. And I'm okay with that. Take over Houston sounds like it's going to be a great pay-per-view, and I think think we're in for a nice ride so that's all i got for the nxt recap because these are not long shows and i don't see the point of yapping about this show for 23 minutes unless i had someone to talk to it um unless i had someone to talk about the show with i don't see the point of me you know yapping that long but that's all i have man you know like share subscribe continue to be awesome people all that jazz don't be dicks to one another. Spread some love around the world and continue to be great. Stay awesome. Till next time. See you later. Peace.